I'm always filming and studying what, the way I'm moving and the way my students are moving, but I thought I'd, I'd have a look at the palm heel, um, film it and discuss it a bit so I can learn from it, but also I thought I'd put it on YouTube so you guys can have a look and uh, hopefully you guys can learn from it as well. With all the strikes I do, I'm, I'm looking at knockout power. I want to get that one shot knockout, um, nothing's guaranteed, but that's what I try and do. So with any shot that I throw, I want to put as much power as I can behind it. If the first one doesn't work, I'll hit him again as hard as I possibly can. If that doesn't work, I'll hit him again as hard as I possibly can. Just keep it straightforward, keep hitting the head repeatedly until I'm safe and I can escape. Ideally, you avoid it. Um, but if I can, I'll, I'll try and hit preemptively. With all my shots, I drive through the target. I don't stop and pull back, I drive through. So with a straight shot, I hit forward. When the energy's gone, I'll just bring it back. So, when I'm palm healing, I don't lock the wrist back at all, and I don't lock the elbow out. The problem is, if you lock the wrist back and you make a mistake, you're going to hurt your wrist, particularly when you're hitting heavier stuff. So I relax the arm, I keep the arm slightly bent, and never overextend. The arm's always bent, and the hand and the wrist is relaxed. I don't lock this wrist back. I keep it relaxed, so it causes a cushion. And what what I find is, if I hit wrong on something that's really heavy, as long as my arm's slightly bent and my wrist isn't locked back, I can relax at that point and I won't hurt myself. If I straighten my arm up and I lock the wrist, everything's locked. So if I make a mistake hitting like that, I'm going to really hurt my wrist. So I bend the arm slightly, I relax the wrist, so then if I do hit wrong, then you can absorb that and you don't have to drive straight in and take it all on the wrist, you'll absorb it and it won't hurt as much. The more relaxed you are, the harder you hit. Head movement is really important and I found that uh, once I started hitting heavier stuff, head movement become a real big thing. As I'm hitting, <coughs> I'm driving the head in. <coughs> really drives that shot home and gives you more impact. The other important bit is breathing out on impact. As soon as I land, <coughs> breathe out, I blast out. I focus the aggression and anger on that impact. Makes a big difference if you don't put any emotional content in it. It's a waste of time. I'm using a pushing position. It's a, it's, it's a basic position of push, of a pushing position. And you see how me. My wrist is not locked right back. So it's a basic pushing position, I'm relaxed, but I'm actually whipping. I'm whipping the hand forward and hitting with the palm heel. I'm not pushing. It's a pushing position, but it's a whip. The hand whips forward and they drive the head in. <coughs> bang! Bang! That's the motion of the repeated shot on the top half. It's just over, over, so I'm not, I'm not pistoning, I'm bringing it forward, I'm throwing the body in, throwing the body in and the hand comes after, the elbow comes through and the hand whips forward and I go through. Now when you look at this next clip, when I'm hitting the pad, Martin's holding the pad. And what he's doing is he's using his mechanics to lock up the pad when I hit it so I get a lot more impact. If the pad's there and it's floppy and it just moves, what am I learning? I can hit that. If it's a soft pad and it's held loose, I can hit that how many different ways. If it's hard, it's solid, and it's giving me a hard target, then I can only hit it one way. Same with a heavy bag. If a bag's light and soft, you can hit it any way you want. If the bag's hard, then you can create impact and there's only one way you can hit it and that's the right way. So I want to make sure I can I can use all the basic strikes over different ranges. So with the palm heel Sam here I'm at, say I'm at distance here and I come in and come in from distance. If I get closer, I'm still coming in. I don't want to be restricted by one strike here, one strike here. I want to be able to strike with a palm heel 
further out, I want to be able to strike with the palm heel pretty close. So it's almost like an oval movement. I'm not coming straight back, straight in. I'm coming over, over, over and allowing the hand to naturally fall off the target once it's hit. So, I mean, I call it a straight shot, but it's more like a, it's actually quite looping, it kind of loops over. It's not, it's not a push, it's not a straight push, it's a loop. I'm coming over. So when I put the, the strikes together, I come over, 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 over. If I just rest my hands like that, and I'm here, all I'm doing is I'm throwing my head over that direction. So here, <coughs> just try to feel that on the pad. Put on your left, on your, that's it, that's it. Just put your hand uh, behind it and just tilt it slightly. That's it there. So here, <coughs> yeah, all right. Yeah. You see what I mean? So I'm not looking at stepping to the side and coming in forward. I'm going to move the head back and it's going to hurt the neck. But I just think you get more rotation when you hit the side of the head. And, and if you look at me, if I stand here and I drive, if I'm stood straight in front of him and I come in with the palm heel, the palm heel actually hits the jaw there and I'm coming in at an angle there. Same with this side. When I come in that side, I come in on the side. So as I hit there, I'm going to get more rotation, more twist on the head. Um, and so if, I look, if you look a bit closer, I'm closer here. If I'm really close and my hands are up, when I come in, that's how I palm heel. I palm heel close there, and I'm just coming in and hitting the side of the head. So I don't tend to come up like a traditional chin jab. I tend to hit forward and whip in, tend to get more impact like that. And again, if, uh, if the hands are in the way down here, I, I can't come up there, can I? So also, I want to be able to hit high on the forehead or on the side of the head. So that's why I'm coming in like this. Boom! Or higher up. Boom! Boom! Okay, it's hard to do on this target, but I'm 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 gonna be hitting through. And then I wanna be coming back with the other side. I find I get a lot more power that way. Stop what I'm hitting, so I wanna I wanna step in, so, so just stay me by there. So I step in here bang, and I just come in with a hook and I drive through, I'll just do it again. Step in here. Bang, now hopefully that'll be enough. Oh Or with the palm heel, with the, with the coming forward with the palm heel, I step in bang, and I drive in, but I'm driving oh, right through and now I'll come back with, with whatever's available. Okay. But it's that fact that because if I step in, so we are, if I step in here and I drive. Bang, I drive forward, then you're either going to drop where you are or you're going to move in some direction. So I've got to, as I'm carrying on forward, I've got to look to see where you are. So say you're bent over there, okay. like, say I've hit you once here and you're bent over there, then I can step again, bang, and smash in okay. with, the, with the same hand. Or I could, I could just move forward again, or I could step from here, bang, drive in there and then just step bang, and come up with a hook. So it's just whatever's available. I'm always driving this hip through as much as I can and then using the momentum off this side to come back, using the momentum off that side, much more, much more power. Through, step through, step through.